How you doing? Feeling all right? The world treating you good? I hope so. But don't worry, because if it is not, I am here to give you a little tad bit of entertainment to help you on your merry way. Today we are coming back for the third episode of Interview with a Vampire. All right, if this is your first time watching and you don't know what's going on, what are you doing? That means you haven't watched my first and second reactions, silly puss. <laughs> but don't worry, you ain't gotta watch that one. Or you can watch those and come back, or you can watch this one and then go backwards. Either way, you know, I'm not gonna pick the arrangement for you. Basically, if, you, if you're if you curious about what's going on in the last two episodes, you can just go watch those and get caught up to speed because we're gonna hop right into it, okay? I have been waiting for my off day because I watch these on my off days. So here we go. I've been waiting. I'm sure you've been waiting. Let's get to these unpleasantries first real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got to say it for all the new people who don't know me yet. All right. Just real quick. Real quick. Hi, I'm Shalea. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, hey fam. Around here, I like to say that anybody who hits the subscribe button is part of the family. So if you're interested in movie commentaries with more commentary than movie or show, in my case, I'm your girl. Look no further. Here I am. All right. <laughs> Now, that's done, that's all out of the way. I told you guys it would be quick. Let's get on with the show. Oh wait, what am I doing? Can't start the show without the snap. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I'm honestly can't wait to see what they got to top last episode because like last episode was so good. So it's like, what y'all got next that's gonna surprise me? What, what's gonna happen next? I can't wait. Is this the episode where Claudia comes in? I think her name was Claudia. Chris is Dunst's character. Is this the episode where she comes in? I hope so because I have been waiting to see her. And again, this whole, I mean, I kind of expected the intro to be different. It kind of looks like the upside down, like a world upside down, like apocalyptic. So I'm like, is that gonna be, is that like foreshadowing? shadowing or just personal choice oh come through pinstripe suit that is cute louie but now i'm wondering uh what year is it is it still the same year the louisiana purchase was signed here say anything about how they used to take runaway slaves cut the heads off and pike them on the iron gates as a warning I'm only halfway through, let's see. Swear Lestat. Lestat always got the comeback. He always got the comebacks. Do you ever think that we were put on Earth for a larger purpose? Should we be more select? Define your terms. The worst of them. And how would we go about determining that? He's got a point. You lose our powers. Read their minds. Oh, uh, that may be a good solution. They came from apes. We came from them. <laughs> We should be better than they are. Ain't that interesting? I ain't never even thought about it like, you know, vampires come from humans. Which is technically true, but I just ain't, I don't know, I, I ain't never thought about it like that before. You refer to them as they to get on my better side. Try something for me, my chef. You haven't thought this through, Louis. You said you would try. Aw, I promise you. Sometimes, sometimes I do give it to Lestat because he does seem like he tries, even though you know he really does not want to. You want to take this serious or not? Wait, what's that I hear? Oh, yes, it's the angel of starvation passing over us. <laughs> I guess I'll give him points for trying, you know, A for effort on his part. You. And does that meet your satisfaction? If you don't mind the shaking, I've snapped his spine. It's merely his nerves spasming. <laughs> Lestat, I swear. Well, go on. Use your criminal biscuits. Why is he like this, y'all? <laughs> Eat. If your reason or his heart fails us. <laughs> what did the cat do to you? What? I'm about as mad as Lestat. I'm not gonna lie. I, my face it may not show it, but on the inside, I feel like Lestat's face looks. Because it's like you gave that whole speech, hyped this man up to be the mark. I went and grabbed him, gave him to you on a silver freaking platter, and you scuff at my gift. Sir, you scuff at it for a cute tiny kitty who was not hurting anybody and you kill the cat instead of the person that you told us that you wanted to kill. Really, Louie? You're frustrating me a little bit, boo. Love you to death. You're frustrating me, though. And uh, maybe I'm a little triggered because the cat it look, like, look a little bit like my cat, but I don't care. <laughs> the cat was hurting nobody. According to what you said, that dude was doing his own evil deeds. And he was already dying. That guy was literally already Ooh. dying, so why? Why? Frustration. He's frustrating me right now. You're angry. I'm pondering what you're ashamed of what we are. Maybe I'm just pondering what I am. That does sound like you are ashamed. 
I don't want to kill people anymore. You finally said it. Okay. Now, Lestat, how do you feel? A fish that doesn't swim. A bird refusing to fly. I'm not sure if I agree with that part. You're going to struggle. I fear for the feline population of New Orleans. That's funny. <laughs> oh, Lestat. A Larry. Your pianist has lost his passion. What? Mr. Martin! Lord. You have played the same melody the very same way for two weeks now. Oh, Lestat, Lestat, Lestat. For real, Lestat, so you upset with me about my new principles, so you gonna disrupt my place of business? That's what we do. This ain't your kind of music. You can pretend to be a vegetarian. I can pretend the fool. Ooh, if you ain't a little girl throwing a temper tantrum. You throw a huge ass fucking fit trying to make it seem like it ain't about Louis, but it really is about Louis, and cause a whole ass ruckus. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Why does this remind me of <laughs> the part in Selena in the beginning? We want to dance. <laughs> All I hear is a man that's never gotten his dick wet. Why do I feel like he might just kill that man right after this is over? If I'm not mistaken, he improv the melody for what would later become the Wolverine. Really? I promise. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on there. You're saying Lestat wrote the Wolverine blues? Yeah, that's Lestat. Yes, that's it. Sorry. Louis, Louis, as usual, got a chilly his boo. He said, yeah, that's my boo. <laughs> Again, so talented. Y'all be thinking he's just like a crazy killer, but he's got a soft side, okay? He's artistic. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta say, it's not so much the minute details, Louis, rather the total rewrite that's giving me pause here. Are we feeling a little contradictory in your stories? The version we speak of now is the more nuanced portrait. <laughs> Fuck the Wolverine blues. It's the abused abuser psychological relationship I'm talking about. I do not consider myself abused. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, boo, it could, it could look like Stockholm Syndrome to other people. Like, to other people, it could look slightly Stockholm Syndrome. You know, just saying. Don't come for me, Louie, but I'm just saying. I am in my Buick, staring in the rear view mirror at my daughter in the car seat. My editor reminds me it's seven years before car seats are mandatory. This is the odyssey of recollection. Allow me my odyssey. Man, shut your bitch ass up. He's starting to talk a good game like, what's that? Is it me? Maybe it's just me, but it feels like it feels like he learned a lot from Lestat. I'll say that. Now who's performing? What are we playing parlor tricks now? What happened to the moment, guys? Remember, we had a moment. Lestat filled in for Jelly the next night. Well, I guess that's nice of him. He would do his killing away from me now. On the back. Ooh. I know the fur just is wreaks havoc on the tongue. The frolicking repeated itself while I tried to adapt to my new diet. At least he went to mice because I'm sorry, I drew the line at kitties. We had a good run, but I did it for Louis. I do everything for Louis. I heard that about you too. Oh. I'm not a gossip. No. What do the employees at the Azalea say? Are there two beds upstairs or one? <laughs> There's two of something, lady, but it's not beds. What do you imagine confines us to a single note? Oh, see, I'm the same. I like soft hands, burnished complexions. I like men called daddy. Oh, okay, girl. I see you. You trying. <laughs> Your blouse is soaked in champagne. Wow. Bad daddy. Wow. I'm hungry. I was beginning to wonder about your man. Lestat, really? You about to eat her? Nah, you wouldn't do that. It's too close to home. One thing I will say, Lestat usually doesn't shit where he eats. You can appreciate that part. She burned quick. See for yourself. Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. All right. A dentist from Tallahassee. What? I thought he got the chick. I was like, no, Lestat. Oh, okay. Gotta remember, as long as they're talented in some way. <laughs> so you didn't kill her. Are you fucking kidding me? No. She has talents. 
Aren't I enough? Nope. Aww. <laughs> he ain't shit. No. <laughs> Lestat ain't shit. Oh, Lestat, Lestat. I hate him. I hate him for that. Louis was opening up. We'll be together 10,000 nights. What we're doing is hard. Anything that wards off the dullness of the everlasting road we walk. I can smell her on you. From time to time, I like a little variety. Mm. But he didn't have to laugh like that in his face. Did you see his face, y'all? Do a replay of his face. That face right there is tragic. Like, if I was literally turning to bear my soul to somebody, it was like, aren't I enough? And then a guy turned and did it like, got him. <laughs> did that to me? Like, uh, crushed. Uh, my soul. Uh, my face. Uh, everything. Gone. Ashes. Put me in this crematory with the, uh, with the dentist. <laughs> I said it. We're communicating so much better now, no? Ooh, Lestat, your toxic ass. You see the way he turns it on Louis, kind of twists it. Louis is telling him something that literally is like something that's life changing for him, something that's real, authentic, something that he's questioning in his life. And Lestat takes that and turns it on him. It's just like, ugh. So I can fuck whoever I want. Of course. Of course. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? As long as you come home to me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ooh, you see that face? You see that face? That face said, I wish you would. That face said, I will kill anybody, anybody you have sex with. Anybody who Louis tries to pursue anything with. They're about to be Lestat's new prey. <laughs> New Orleans was the last stop before France for city ordinance 4118, a hastily composed attempt by the city to segregate Storyville. Mm -mm -mm. Tried to ensure Uncle Sam's money went into the right hand. Oh. It required all prostitutes of colored or black race to move their business across Canal Street. You shocked? I mean, it, I would love to say I'm shocked, but I'm not. <laughs> How'd you manage it? Gave 5% of the business to my girls. How's that help you? You can file a writ saying 4118 was a... Uh... ...process the use of our property without due process of law. Bitch! It's Briggs! No, am I saying Briggs? Fuck that. Miss Williams, okay? Miss Williams, if you're nasty. Denying us equal protection under the Constitution of these United States. <laughs> MVP? Not just a pretty face, Brit was what Briggs said. Not just a voluptuous body is what Briggs said. She said, I'm also a mind, okay? I don't know why. That just gave me everything. Seeing Briggs right there, like, laying out that whole order and shocking all the white men. You know, they just never knew that was gonna come out of her mouth. Just, mm-hmm. 400 men over at charity getting treatment for the clap. I got pristine pussies walking my floor. Now I'm offended. When I said Brick says she's in charge of the girls, Brick says she's in charge of the girls, okay? Only got pristine puss up in her shit. She is really doing it for me in this scene. I didn't even think that, like, I mean, I knew I love Briggs, but, like, now I'm just like, oh, I love Briggs. <laughs> Washington's making us choose, Louis. Council's just stalling for time, chasing race. Don't feel like a stall. Feel like a boot on my neck. Oh, it's getting a little tensiony up in here. Louis ain't in a mood to be playing with nobody no more. Okay, his days of tongue tying is over. I see that now. I see. There's a gentleman asking for you, Mr. Dulac, a man in uniform. Lord, Jonah. Oh, okay, who's he? Another friend? Oh, he's adorable. Who is he? Don't no, Gracie wouldn't remember me. Ooh. So, is this what lust feels like? You seen Grace? It's morning. Getting the yard ready for a birthday party. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Twins. She got a twin girl. Wow, you really had to think about that, Louie? I don't know how I feel. I kind of, I'm kind of upset with you about that. You should at least keep an eye on your family, even if you can't be with them. It's probably hard. You know what? Never, not, not to get on them. It, it's probably hard. It would be hard for me. I say that. How long are you here for? A couple nights. Wait till you see my pretty automobile. <laughs> <laughs> not that I ain't okay with you getting a little bit of peach on the side, but it's just like, you're not doing it for the right reasons, Louie. You're not doing it because you actually want to. Well, maybe it's a little bit, but for the most part, you're doing it to make Lestat jealous. All I know is you better not get Jonah killed. Yeah, I got someone. I figured as much. No ring on your finger. Not a woman. 
Ah, it looked like he was hoping for that. Not in the bayou. Jonah, no, tell Louis I got better standards. Ain't no bayou booty coming out over her. But we kind of have this agreement. One of those you can drive out to the bayou kind of agreements. Ooh, shoot. Jonah went right in for it. I mean, my goodness, they must have been close. Is this what you needed, Louie? Down in the bayou with the mud and the, the, the mud? I mean, just, <sighs> you could have did it in the automobile. Wow, when I saw that in the commercial, I did not think this was gonna be the reason he did that. <laughs> so they can drink their own blood and sustain themselves or a little bit, or was that just like, kind of like recycling? You know, it ain't, it ain't gonna last, it's just a little temporary fix. Hello? Hello. How was your night? Fine. Louie, if you can smell old girl on the stat, I'm sure the stat can smell Jonah on you. I know, love. Grace told him where to find me. I was Antoinette. Tedious. These affairs always flame out. Lestat followed him? Mud on his boots could have come from anywhere. This please! Oh, Lestat! The stalkerage! I would meet Jonah decades later. What did he say when he met you again? What they all eventually say in one articulation or another. Afternoon. Barely did a time when I want to make a fuss. You want to come around? You come around when people are awake. You're not welcome in this home. Oh, mama. I pay the bills in this piece. What's going on out here? Back inside, son. Son, I'm your son. Let me handle this, my mom. Do that. We don't. You better know your place, boo, and it's in my purse strings. Don't play with me. All right, Louie, now we need to go. What did I tell y'all? There he is. There he is. I swear, that's your son, you evil old witch. Grace. Get out. Grace, I can slightly understand, but your mom's, like, especially when she know that y'all antagonized him, tried to restrain him, and then afterwards, there he is. Well, what do you explain you? What are you, lady? Ooh. Mama do like gonna make me lose my mind. If it wasn't for my sister and my and my nieces, pull the purse strange. Let's see you struggle for a little bit, Mama Duloc, and then maybe you would come to appreciate what your son's doing for you. Because you're happy to take his money. You always, you always been happy to take his money, but judge his lifestyle and judge where it came from. The heck is this? Is that his house? Or is this the Azalea? Swear, let's that be wearing so many faces. What is this one? I didn't realize that we could have an orgy. You can fuck them and I can eat them. What about the coffin room? The murderous loves one is more wine and a German on their bayonet. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> but German on their bayonet. <laughs> fucking hate you. I brought them back after they cut the electricity. Miss Bricktop wanted you to have this. Get them out of here. I thought you'd be pleased. Stop. Boy, this is not the time to wallow in your little self feelings when you didn't like the outcome of something that you started. You're the one, if you recall, who told him that it don't freaking matter. You're the one who wanted to make Louis jealous. You're upset because Louis said two can play this game, and now you're trying to one up him. But unfortunately for you, Lestat, it is not the time. My boo is going through some things right now. Yes, I said my boo. Hopefully, Lestat don't hurt me. But my boo's going through some things right now, and you better leave him alone and let him process no that's not spooky at all you know Lestat even though this is a really cool trick and I love it you could have just as easily said all right party's over everybody out <laughs> it works just the same and with less headache what can I say I'm a lot you are. I'm not perfect. You're not. I knew you were there. Yes. You jealous? Yes. I don't like sharing. Then don't sleep around! What about Antoinette? It's different. Oh, really? And I don't have feelings for her. He did me some face and I drove him home. I heard your heart stancing! Oh, snap. This is not a life. That's because you took my life. I lost everything. My family. About to lose the last fucking thing I care about. What about me? That's what Lestat's face said. Lestat's face said, but what about me, Louis? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Finoche, 
Got a dirty house across the streets. Fino Shea serves sandwiches at his bar that makes him a supper club. Dang, look at you done help one person out and look what they do. They don't forget all about you. I, I tried to persuade the city council. I'm sure you did. Mm, this tedious Negro clinging to his Creole heritage like a life raft. Is this your first time reading they mind? I ain't trying to be mad, mean, but I'm like, Louie, did you always think that they was actually your friends? Oof. Lestat was right. You are innocent. Now drain these ignorant fucks and let's all go home. Maybe old Tom here had it right. Maybe in the end, Louie, you dumb pimp who got robbed blind years ago. Was Finn the person who robbed you after Lestat told you he was going to? Did you sell me the Azalea because you knew this day was coming, Tom? You put a sir on the end of that. Who the Himself. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna cuss. Oh, bring it back, bring it back, Shay. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it, bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back. I'll be happy to buy the property back from you. Say 15 cents on the dollar. Wow, so you got jokes. You got jokes now. Okay. Now we about to see the true faces as they were sitting there laughing in your face, drinking your liquor, fucking on the women that you had in your business establishment. Once everything is said and done and they ain't got no more use for you, that's all there is to it. And now at this point, Louie, we know what we must do. Please do it and let's be done. Speak for the girls and say as minority owners, that's a stupid fucking business plan. <laughs> You put up a sign like that, you're inviting chaos. Wow, okay, it's okay when we exclude everybody, but you better not exclude us. And in neglect, my thirst grew hotter. Temples throbbed, and finally, I could not stand it any longer. Bro what broken wind? The one they about to break, Louie, come on now. We have families and service members nearby and it's for them Louis if you don't kill him and get this over with I am tired kill him and move make him a vampire fuck with that vampire and see what comes of it much deserved vengeance as far as I'm concerned he gave you five years not fucking with you not doing nothing being cool with you he could have killed you when he killed your attorney uh I can't even think of your name but what when I say that you earned this it was well earned you're here to threaten me I suppose no 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 not threaten you not threaten you mm -mm. you mm -mm. think I have a vendetta against you against your race the fact that you say in this speech before I even say a word proves that that's what it probably is. But that's your problem, Lou. You're arrogant. You haven't accepted your place in this world. I've got reason to be. I'm more brilliant than half of you ignorant motherfuckers on this quarter. And for some reason, I always get fucked over first. But you're a tiny man flying too close to the sun. That's what I am, Louie. The sun. Walk away. I think you should be saying that to a mirror. Why is your heart beating so fast? Everything that's been done is legal. Too bad what I'm about to do is highly illegal. Sad to say, that makes me hungrier. <laughs> I'll let you reload. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. What are you? Your worst nightmare. I'm a vampire. <laughs> and a vampire. She is funny to me. <laughs> but baby, you had to know there was gonna be retaliation. First, I'm very proud of you, Louis. You managed to execute it with such a plum. I didn't do it for me. I did it for my city, my people. Why, Why the fuck you city? lying? Yeah. That torturous death was for your people. Like some public art piece was for your people. I know, right? Just like, mm, maybe 50-50. Don't act like some of that wasn't for you, Louie. We gon' like, at least 60 was for you. Maybe you saw it coming and didn't stop me. Who, me? Why would he stop you? He knew what he was doing. That out there, that's on me. And that's why you and me ain't ever gonna work. Is this the first breakup? I read from the quarter that night. What I don't get, Louie, is you knew, you had to have known this was gonna happen, did you not know it was gonna happen? Please let me help. Don't help. Just run. Don't help. Uh. Is if you don't freaking use your superhuman speed and get all these dudes, stop playing with me, Louie. You just walking around. I feel like you could be doing something. Something. And then, living house, now a fire trap. I could not. 
not save you. Oh, shit. I could not save Storyville, but I could save her. <gasps> oh, is this our girl? Is this our girl's moment? My light. My Claudia. Yes! <laughs> Vengeance and Claudia in one episode? Oh, this is so good. If every time you think it can't get no better, somehow they're like, no, it can. <laughs> can't believe that was the end. That was only 40 minutes. Man, that seemed very short. Good. Better editing for me. <laughs> so much to unpack. I guess we're going to start with Louis and Lestat's relationship at this point. So am I correct in assuming that this was supposed to be their first, like, official breakup, I guess? You know what I'm saying first because I know that there's got to be more. They're definitely getting back together. Lestat's got that way about them. You know, that's the thing with toxic relationships. You always seem to keep going back. You can't help yourself. But this episode was very interesting. Lestat definitely lost the points. I'm not going to lie. He lost a lot of points with me because it's that whole... You're a 200 year old vampire who has lived a long life, seen so many things, but somehow, some way, you can't communicate well with your partner. I just don't know how that works, Lestat. It's like, what what have you been doing all these, you know, 200 years? It certainly wasn't therapy or nothing like that, I tell you. I, I don't know what Lestat's been going through doing with his life besides killing people, I'm sure. But it's just like, Lestat, first of all, let's break down Lestat's incessant need to make Louis a killer. Louis can live without having to kill anybody. We've already established that. He lives off. He can live off animals and not have to kill anybody. His prerogative. Why? Why does Lestat feel like it's encroaching upon anything that he is doing? It clearly is not. So why does he feel like he has to do whatever he can to bring Louis down to his level as opposed to just letting Louis do what he wants to do and he does what he wants and Lestat does what he wants to do. It's not like Louis is for real trying to preach to Lestat the, you know, not to kill. He just don't want to see it no more. He don't want to be a part of it no more. And that should be fine. Lestat that's really upsetting me with his mixed emotions. He does too much at times. He's aware he can be irrational, but he doesn't do anything to try to to try to fix it. And that's a problem for me, especially if you want to be in a whole ass relationship with that. It's like, come on, it's not always about you, boo. It's not always about you. And it seems like all this dad be thinking about most of the time is me, 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 me. And then occasionally once he sees that he wants something from Louie or he wants Louie to do a certain thing or he's like, oh, I want to do this thing, but Louie is upset so he can't do this thing with me. So let me get him in a better mood so he'll be, you know, so he'll want to do this thing with me. That's when he'll care or when he thinks you know when he's feeling in a good mood he'll 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 do that but for the most part like I'd say a good 70 80 percent of the time was dad is thinking of self and how he wants Louie to fit into his life he's not thinking about how they can live a life actually together he wants Louie to just come into his life and like a little toy where he can play with it when he wants to you know and when he doesn't he can just leave it there it like leave it there and then that's it and then it's there so it, it's just it's it's so toxic and seeing it play out, it's like, you know, but at the same time, it still frustrates you to see the levels that Lestat goes. And, and a lot of the stuff is kind of relatable. Like, I don't know, it feels like Lestat is kind of love bombing Louie a little bit. You know, he when he's when he's there, he's there. But when he's not, he's not. That that feels like Lestat a lot of the time. And then, y'all, the way he laughed in Louie's face when he looked at him, and he was for real, y'all. You see Louie's face, he was for real when he asked him, aren't I enough? And Lestat that laughed like he just busted out laughing he didn't even take it back you know like oh my bad I didn't even mean to come out with that well, he just acted like Louis emotions meant nothing just because this is what Lestat wanted to do but then when Louis decided to do the same thing that Lestat does then Lestat got a problem maybe they do need a little bit of a break so maybe Lestat can get his priorities together and realize that the relationships don't just include himself now let's get to Louis because <laughs> there was a lot of time on Lestat now let's get to Louie. I was with the whole hanging him up, making a statement thing. But as soon as I saw that sign that said for whites only, I said, Louie, you are going to bring the chaos to your people's streets, y'all. Come on. I get that he was upset. I would have been upset. Angry, rage, all of that. I feel. I would have probably done the same thing. But the thing is, it's like, I'm not going to bring other people into it and then be like, oh, I did it for my people. No, you didn't. Because if you did it for your people, you wouldn't have left them out there to get hurt. The aspect that they're going with this is very interesting to me. Like the portrayal of a black man in the 1920s, oppressed, 
talked down upon. And then they give him a certain aspect of power. Now, he's the one who is the predator. He's the one who actually has the power. But he can't show it to anybody because he still lives in a society where he has to conform and pretend that he isn't the actual predator amongst all this prey. But it seems like the lines between him running things only is like, not I don't want to say physical, but like as far as predator prey goes, Louie does run this. But when it comes to like running the town, um, making ordinances, who gets to have businesses where, he ain't got no power still. He a whole vampire and he still is powerless. And then finally you push him up and then he snaps. Cause I'm like, if you was gonna snap, boo, then you should have snapped and got time too. I'm just saying, if we gonna get everybody, we gonna get everybody. All right, is that all I got to say? Yeah, I think I'm done. I, I'm sure you guys are. I'm sure you guys are waiting. Um, so if you have even made it through all this rambling that I'd be doing at the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys who stayed to the very, very end because your girl knows she's long-witted, but I just can't help myself. So if you've made it to the end and you listen to all my ramblings, you are the true MVP of the show, okay? But that's it and that's all, guys. That was the <laughs> interview with the vampire episode three. I cannot wait to watch episode four. I'm probably gonna watch it tomorrow because yeah, that, hmm, I can't wait. It looks like it's gonna be good. I am excited <laughs> for this next episode, okay? I have been waiting for Claudia and Claudia is here, people. Claudia is here! Can't wait to see all the chaos and confusion that she rains down upon Lestat, okay? But let me not shut up. All right, this is the end. This is the actual ending of the video, guys. That's it and that's all. So before I go, don't forget to hit the like button. Okay, at this point, if you made it to the end of the video and you haven't hit the like button, it's a pillage, all right? You're pillaging my channel. <laughs> Can't even get it out. Do the right thing, okay? It's a click. It's a flick and a click. Also, in case you've forgotten, there's a little subscribe button down there that you can click. In case you like your girl so much and you want to be notified whenever she drops more content, you can also hit that notification bell so it will let you know whenever I post. Alright guys, I think that is it and that's Shalaya. all. So with that being said, this is Shalaya Humbody wishing you all adieu, a vida zay, gazoon tight, and as always, farewell. Yes.